content will always be the main product and the crux of an OTT platform. Content need not just be a short format series or a big format series. So content is always going to be the key. But I have always said that the advantage of the digital is that the content can be segmented. In a platform itself, you have the advantage of creating content basis the insights you have on your consumer segments, basis the returns on the product, and depending on how you want to create your catalog and what is the kind of base that you're willing to look at. So at all, we've spent almost three years studying our consumer segments, studying the product's returns, understanding what insights every product is getting in terms of the time spent by the audience, at what point of time are the audience dropping off, what are the content quirks that the audience are liking or disliking, which has allowed us to create content at also a very affordable cost. Because let's not forget that digital is also about affordability if you want to truly penetrate, right? Mm -hmm. Content can be created basis analytics. But ultimately, even if you create content basis analytics, it has to tell a unique narrative. So at best, Mm -hmm. I as a marketer can tell you, listen, I want to create a content with this kind of a storyline for this kind of segment, these kind of cities. But then ultimately, it is the content creator who has to tell that unique storyline. And mind you, the digital content is extremely different from the content that you get on television. I have seen platforms trying to replicate it by saying, okay, the TV is coming on digital. It has absolutely fallen flat as a strategy because people will not pay you for it. When people come on digital, they are looking for exceptionally different content from the broadcast content. So content also has to be created as per the platforms. 